landed in London, just had something to eat. The Always Wolves team are here, missing a couple of members today. Um, and we're just literally around to uh, head off down to the stadium to uh, support another member of the team, Manny, who's done that crazy challenge, 150 something miles over two and a half days to get from Molyneux to Chelsea, raising money for Down to UK. So we're gonna go and uh, give him support and get to the ground. just um, waiting there for money to arrive it should be about five or ten minutes so keep tuned Yeah. Mate, Buddy, Tennis Park, the podcast out. You're insane, but you've. Uh, if anyone could do this, you can do it. You've just arrived. You all feel all right. I think I'm going to walk back. How are you feeling? It's crazy, man. I can feel numb. I feel insane. I can't really. It's not registered that I've actually walked. Some of the roads I went over twenty thousand pounds raised as well. <laughs> Mate, I, I put a tweet out about half an hour ago. I think it was, and it was fifteen hundred quid. Just donated in half an hour, That's incredible. and they got it. They took it over, and I can't thank the fan base enough. I just cannot thank them enough for what they've done. And uh, I think the fan base, given. thank you, mate. You, yeah. you give, you're a credit to every single Wolves fan. You really are, and you're well, inspiration you know to so you, many people. And you've gone and done this for dementia and all the people that it helps as well. We are all like so proud of you, Dave. I'm only using what's come inside the box. Yeah, it ain't mine. I don't possess it. I just opened it up and used it. Everybody's got the same opportunity. I just urge people to always give back. It's the best investment you ever make. You will only get a good feeling from it. You won't lose, you know. And so whether that's donating, sharing, liking, even encouraging, it's really, really important. So thank you for, you know, all the fans, all the fan base, all the donations, all everyone who's liked, shared, posted, you know, urged. You know, everyone's played a part and, and that's why it's magical. And Not you've been through everything on the way here, Doc. Man, man. I'll write a book one day. You, I think you actually should. And in your backpack, well, the other question that people want to know, have you bought three points? Oh, man. You know what? I, I don't know about three points, but I've got a smoser on the way here. <laughs> I saw that. Oh, man. The shop would just open. I said, I want a smoser. And give me a smoser next. So, I saw the picture. Yeah, smoser Saturday next week. We and and Wednesday. Wednesday and Saturday. So um, You'll need a week off after that then. Uh, Lie you down. know what? Life's too short. Weeks off. Week off you know they don't exist they don't exist We've anyway got... mate abs you, absolutely brilliant Cheers. really well done top man the team's just come out and it's a 4-2-3-1 um interesting uh saw totty is in kilman then we've got uh Samado and also uh johnny otto then we've got Matthias nunez uh matinho geddes pedence Triore and Diego Costa start. Yeah, I mean, it's all against us in some ways this week, but like, if Manny can inspire, so we can inspire the team for victory. I'm going to go stick with my 1-0, Diego Costa. It would be written in the start. And we saw two lots of uh, magpies on the way down. That is two lots for joy. Come on, Wolves.
effort. The half time whistle's got just, just gone. Um, last kick, well, header of the first half. Chelsea take the lead. Wolves have done very well actually defensively, and um, you know, Jacontay has not been coming a little bit. Chelsea have had most of the possession, most of the shots, and been a bit wasteful. And um, Wolves had a couple of attempts, um, but not really for me. Got uh, Traore, um, Costa, or Guedes into the game enough. And at the end of the day, um, Chelsea have got that goal right at the end of the first half. That's gutting. Um, and it goes into half-time 1-0. But we're not out of this. I do think that we can do something in the second half. We will be kicking away from the Wolves fans in the second half. But hey, you've got to keep positive how many minutes in the second half Costa will get. But we need to get more on the front foot. But, you know, the team have played as a team. Uh, we've just not been able to really create anything clear cut at this point. But hopefully second half we'll get a bit of luck as well. Uh, who knows? 1 0 half time Chelsea. Yeah, uh, substitution at half time. Geddes is off, whether he's got a knock. And young Joseph Hogg, number 59, is on the pitch for the young lad, amazing. Again, another cross. So it's the morning after the night before again, another epic London journey, so many this month and it's the same kind of result and performance, it's getting increasingly difficult uh, to edit match vlogs where we don't score and um, we don't get any points and um, it's just, it's soul destroying isn't it, uh, the only hope is that the new manager gets appointed soon um and he can re-energize this squad because we've got a lot of talent obviously we had no ruben neves collins uh suspended 
Bubakar Traore got ill, Neto injured. It's just like everything seems to be conspiring against us uh, to head us um, for, you have to mention the odd word, a, a relegation battle. Uh, nine games in, six points, three goals. <sighs> That's painful, isn't it? It's really painful. Um you know, I mean, we did okay for periods yesterday. We defended resiliently. I thought Steve Davis and uh, the under-23, 21 coaches, you know, prepared the team as best they could. Um, a proud day for them. Um, and, you know, the, the, the goal just before half-time just sums it all up. Uh, Chelsea had a few chances before then. I thought maybe it was going to be one of them days where they're going to miss everything and we'll get a goal with no. And uh, second half, we started really well. Start the second half, really positive, made the changes. Great for Joe Hodge to come on. Young lad made his debut. and um, But Chelsea just really were in control most of the game. And they're, they're just clinical. And that's been what it is, finishing. We've got to start finishing. The positives for me, Costa got 55 minutes. He's going to be key. Uh, we've got Neves coming back next week. We've only got Collins out for one more game. Hopefully, Bubakar Traor will be um, recovered from his illness. Maybe we'll have the new manager in place. Maybe he'll be in the stands. I don't know. Big highlight, obviously, uh, and massive congratulations to my mate, um, tennis partner, podcast host. I've uh, become really good friends over the uh, the last few years, and that's to Manny, an epic, epic crazy insane when he said it it was like are you 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 seriously insane doing this but he did it 150 odd miles from uh molyneux to um to stanford bridge so just massive congratulations again you can still donate so we'll put the link in the description below and one final thing guys it's the last day of voting for our podcast you know uh to win best premier league podcast so there's three ways you can vote on website, on Instagram and on Twitter. And if you do enjoy the content and all the effort we put in, uh, the heartache of producing these, hey, just vote uh, on the 9th of October. It's the final day. You never know. Uh, we might uh, have a chance of finishing in the top three this year. Who knows? But uh, yeah, rambled on. But um, And I'm sorry I'm not like majorly bouncing and stuff like that tired from yesterday and just it's the same old however i am committed we will do be doing extra time so brighter days ahead keep the faith always walk. Hold on.